Hey guys, what's going on? It's the constant game back here in Borderlands 2. And today, I think this is the last one we need to do. Pretty sure anyways. Today, we're finally wrapping up the Manufacturer's Guide on the grenades. We've already done shields and weapons so far. And I thought I'd probably should, you know, move on to grenades. So first up on the list, sense. I already have a uh, one of them equipped it is the Bouncing Betty. All of these are longbow and fire because the target dummy here is, you know, in a thing and he's also weak to fire. So yeah. Alright, so as you can see here, we got a target dummy. Now if I throw it right at his legs there, it's going to teleport over to him. What the bouncing Betty does, I know it's kind of hard to tell because I think it got stuck somehow. Oh, yep, it got stuck, okay. Nope, that was a bad idea. It pretty much just jumps around and shoots bullets out that damage anything in sight. You see there, it did reasonable amounts of damage and its damage over time is also very effective. This is basically all that doll ones do. Of course, they can come in the deployment methods of homing, longbow, sticky, lobbed, Etc. I almost took myself out there. I'm not sure if these can actually damage the player, but I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, so TDR, Tidore, whatever it is, I don't care that much about what it's called, but TDR basically works like you would think a grenade would work. You throw it, and it blows up. Obviously, I was dumb, and shouldn't have uh, been so close. But yeah, TDR is always the uh, basic one. Their shields have no special effects. Their grenades have no special effects. Their weapon special effects is just, hey, look, you can throw me and I do damage. I mean, like, that is pretty unique, but uh, TDR grenades, much like the shields, don't do much of anything. Of course, they are going to have high damage because of the fact that they do nothing. But, yeah. Alright, so next on the... I guess list of things is the Tor grenades, also known as M I R V or Merv. These grenades are honestly some of the most fun grenades. You just you know, back up a bit before I throw them. You throw them, and then they explode into like 20 other grenades. Oh my lord! Yeah, you can see there. It's pretty dangerous. Pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. Just be careful with them. Because they will screw you up if you're not careful. Obviously, if you're far away, it's not going to be that big of a deal. Because if I throw it there, I guess it just disappears. But uh, if I throw it there, the chances of it hitting me are like a trillion to one. So yeah, tar grenades always explode into giant... More grenades, which deal more da I think they do the same amount of damage as the uh, regular grenade. Alright, so Vladoff. Vladoff is weird. I wouldn't really call him weird, but uh, what is it? Aha! So yeah, uh, you know, good, good angle. Vladoff actually does area of effect damage, so if I throw it over there, it starts jumping up and shooting flames, and I hurt myself again because I am just so good at using grenades at close range. But yeah, Vlad off just does an area of an effect attack. So if you get them all grouped up, which there's a grenade that can do that too, which you will see in just a second, and then throw a Vlad off grenade, you're basically going to decimate everything. It's a really neat gr grenade for when you got a bunch of people teamed up. They can come in all elements, fire, shock, corrosive all of these grenades except for the torg ones can to be entirely fair but yeah just let's get on to the next one all right so last well actually second last before we have to uh go up and do some field testing somewhere else is what is it where is that? longbow incendiary transfusion well it's just a transfusion grenade malawan weapons basically when they deal damage they heal you they can also, as you can see here, have a Merv effect, but that's only sometimes. As you can see here, if I throw it at him, 
my health isn't exactly full. I mean, like, it's pretty close. But you can see it just went up there. These orbs kind of just seek out anyone who needs health. Of course, being your teammate. And heal them up for however much damage they need. It also appears that the, uh... Child grenades seem to lock on. Didn't know that was an effect. And I downed myself again. Man, I am so great at this. Alright, so last on the list before we go do some field testing is Bandit. Bandit is what I now officially call the uh, copycat manufacturer. Because they don't have any unique grenades. They can either have the standard grenade, the Merv grenade, or the Bouncing Betty grenade. You already know what all these do. You throw it, it explodes. Bouncing Betty, you throw it, it jumps around and then explodes. This is really, really good place for it to be, and then it explodes, dealing extra damage. And then the Merv grenade just explodes into trillions of other grenades. Now the good thing about Bandit is that their Merv grenades can actually be elemental. Which is really good if you're fighting a big boss that it happens to be weak to one element. Which is honestly really nice. But now, let's we, we need to go do some field testing. Alright, so for the field test, we, ha we have Hyperion. Which, what Hyperion does, I bet you can already see this coming because I kind of told you guys a little bit ago. What it does is it sucks a bunch of enemies in. And after it sucks it in, it goes up, kind of just rises up in the air, and then explodes. So I'm going to try and demonstrate how good the uh, flat off, whoa, flat off ones can be with them. You throw, then you switch to your other grenade, which is flat off. Honestly, I don't recommend switching grenades very often, but this one is a uh, fun. And grenades also aren't very useful by themselves. You're gonna need slag. But Hyperion, very useful no matter what situation you're in. Until that happens, of course. What is next? Throw it there, they all get sucked in. Then you have the opportunity to super bore them. Alright guys, it's going to be just about it for this video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like. Comment down below if you learned anything. And subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future content as I upload three times a week. And you're not going to want to miss it. Thanks for watching and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.